Namaste my loves and welcome back to my channel and if you're wondering why I have this headscarf on I have actually got my natural hair underneath this scarf I just didn't want to give it away just yet good nutrients has gone into this old head of mine because it needed it so if you want to see what my hair looks like after me having dreadlocks please just stay tuned to the end of this video because it is very very different to how it looked prior to me having dreads before we start this video I do want to say I did have my dreadlocks for two and a half years so it took me a long time to take my dreads out it took me nearly three to four hours per dread and I had 52 dreadlocks at the very beginning it took me altogether around about nearly four weeks to take them all out towards the end of this video i do actually cut my own hair i use brad mondo's technique for that which really helped brad mondo this video is for you babe because i know you love a good dreadlock removal video so i hope you enjoy this video and yeah let's just get cracking shall we so i didn't actually film a before video of my hair on my camera because at this point i didn't think i was going to actually take them all out um so if you've not been on my channel before and you've not seen any of my previous dreadlock videos this is the length of my dreads as you can see they are very long only half of them were extensions so the plan was by this point was to take a few dreads out of the front create a fringe and cut the extensions off to change them to lighter extensions but obviously things change so i just wanted to show you a preview of my before but you wait until you see the after it literally couldn't be any different So whilst I was taking my dreads out, I noticed how short my hair was and it was literally freaking me out because my hair was so long prior to that. So I kind of decided that once I'd brushed these front ones out, I was actually going to start taking all the extensions out, which was a big deal for me, but I just went for it and I'm actually glad I did. The main reason for me actually cutting my extensions off was to remove the extensions altogether to then buy some new ones and add those new ones in. but. I actually bought the extensions right after I took this video, but obviously I changed my mind again. Hello, hello, hello. This is my natural dreads. These are all mine. I have taken out seven so far and that's the hair that I've taken out. Basically, since taking my extensions out, and the whole point I started this video was to take my extensions out, have just my natural hair and then put my new extensions in, but a lighter colour. These are all my old extensions. But since taking the extensions out and like brushing the ends of my dreads out and brushing this bit out, <sighs> I think I've came to a decision today that I'm gonna take them out. It's time. I literally hide behind my hair all the time. I'm just gonna take them out. I'm, I'm, it's what I'm gonna do, I've decided. This is the hair that has came out of seven dreadlocks. Some of this is also extension hair as well from like brushing out the ends of my hair. So this will probably quadruple in size when I take the rest of my dreads out. So altogether I had 52 dreads. At the moment I've got 45. So it's time, it's time to take the rest of them out. It's time and do you know what? This is gonna be a process, it's gonna take a while because it's just gonna be me doing it. So hold tight, people. At the end of this video, you will see me officially without my dreads. Oh God. I'm actually excited, but I'm also a little bit nervous. But anyway, let's do this because I am ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready for a change even if it is gonna take me about a month. I just wanna quickly show you how I would take my dreads out. A lot of videos on YouTube of people taking their dreads out, they don't actually explain how they're getting theirs out. And I've heard, or some people do, but I've heard that wetting them is not the best idea because when you wet your hair, your hair goes a little bit elasticated so it can bend loads and then pull back. First of all, I recommend you're gonna take your dreads out, always have a bag nearby so you can put the hair that comes out into the bag because there's gonna be a lot of it. You wanna get yourself a crochet needle this is what you use to make dreads it's the best tool i find to take dreads out get yourself a comb as well something like this and also getting yourself some coconut oil so what you want to do is you want to get the dread i would open it up get your crochet needle what i've done it's got a little bit of coconut oil on the end of the needle and just put it in there melt it in also what it is doing it's helping protect the hair as well but also it's helping loosen the knots up so this crochet needle if you can see there's a hook end 
and a bit that's flat like so. So I'll put the crochet needle into the dread with the hook side facing upright like so. I just go up into the knot. I don't hook anything. I just feel the pressure and then I just pull once I feel the dread is starting to loosen up. I'll go into the center of the dread at the bottom and I'll just catch onto something and then just feel the knot. If you feel the knot and you feel it's like really caught in there, don't pull it down because you will break the hair. You just want to gently feed a couple of them out and that's how you kind of just brush them out really slowly and gently and it helps protect the hair so you're not actually fully ripping the hair and you will pull the hair but it's just learning the technique and feeling it in your fingers and you don't want to just ruin the hair but you do want to get the hang of pulling a few down like so once you do that you can start feeling a couple of them pull away sometimes it's good to go around the edge of the outside of the dread because that's the bit that's probably the loosest sometimes it's really satisfying when you get like a big bit and you can feel it come away and you're like yes <laughs> I just wanted to quickly explain why I started from the top and why I think if you've got a full head of dreads it's actually going to be a lot better for you because if you start from the top at least you know that if you wanted to wear your hair down if it's going to take a while you can still just have half a hair of normal hair on the top and then half a hair of dreads on the bottom. I'm going to take a dread out and plait it so that it stays in its place and then eventually once I'm done all over I will take all the plaits out. <laughs> really short. Shorter than I thought. I'm quite nervous about what the rest of it looks like. How long my hair was before, like I've lost basically all that length. <laughs> This is how far I've got with my hair. So this here, all up in this bit, is my natural hair. It's Saturday the 9th of January, so I've been doing this since about the 28th of December, so I've been doing it for like two weeks now. I actually booked two days off of work to get as much out as I can, but I realised that I can only get, if I've got a full day, I can only get four dreads out maximum. I'm doing this totally on my own. We're currently in lockdown at the moment, so I can't get anybody to help me. And it's taking so I've been saving all the hair, it's already up to here. I'm going to show you at the end how much has come out of my head. The back's always hard because when I'm picking out this bit I have to sit like this. So my neck is constantly twisted to the side. My elbow starts hurting because it's bent and my shoulder hurts and my other shoulder here hurts as well. And my body aches and I do wake up in the mornings with a headache because my neck is just strained like this. So I have to make sure that I'm stretching my neck and moving around a little bit. But honestly most of my days just consist of me sitting, watching films, series and just picking my dreads out in the evenings after work I finish at five so I can only do maximum two but basically my whole life at the moment is currently based on getting my dreads out so I have no other spare time to do anything else really when I do eat it's like quick meals because I just want to get the hair done people keep telling me just don't rush take your time but to be honest I've just got to that point now where I just I just want them out once you start taking one out you'll understand that when you start seeing what comes out of the dread as well and how much lighter you feel on the top part of your head like i cannot wait to brush my hair and wash my hair and i've invested in some hair products so i'm gonna make my own hair oils and use them on a weekly basis just to kind of revive my hair again but i just can't wait to see what it looks like when it's all out i just thought i'd check in with you and let you know what's been going on so far so basically Welcome to my office. <laughs> um, this is basically where I'm going to be all day. So I've binge watched so many series. I've watched so many films. After I finish taking my dreads out, I literally don't think I'm going to be watching TV for the next like five months because I just have watched everything that I've kind of wanted to watch. It's not an easy process. It is long and you have to have so much patience and it is frustrating at times. But in my mind, it's just like teaching me patience and I just got to have persistence. <laughs> Because it's going to be worth it in the long run. I'm just, I'm knackered. Even though I'm just doing this, I'm, I'm so tired.
17th of January. So I've been doing this for nearly a month now. I've been doing it every single day. So and tomorrow, which is Monday, I'm gonna be doing the last four. I don't know why they're different lengths as well. I wonder whether I cut my extensions out of these ones maybe too short because this is like so long compared to these two the bottom ones are quite short but it doesn't matter it's gonna get cut anyway so i have really curly curls at the bottom of my hair here so once it's all out try and cut it myself maybe i don't know ah imagine i have cut my hair before previously when i grew my hair really long but it was long whereas this time i can see my hair's probably gonna be like maybe here maybe there maybe there maybe there who knows who knows? Six left. Oh, I can't wait for them to be done. Now I say, my loves, I've literally just woken up, so I'm not really tired. But I'm down to four left, so today I should have these all out. I'm going to start with this one. This is the first dread that was ever put in my hair, so this is the eldest. <laughs> if I keep up with time, I should be able to have them all out, and then hopefully I can take the braids out tonight. Um, I might possibly do a little chop on my hair because it will need a cut for sure. I will take all the braids out and I will brush it. It needs a brush. Tomorrow I can do a big full wash day on my hair. I've got a routine down in my head. It incorporates the curly girl method. I even sound weird. I sound weird today. Sorry. Probably gonna try and do the curly girl method just because I've heard it's really moisturizing for your hair. So whether it curls my hair or not, I don't really care. I just want lots of moisture in my hair because it's been so dry. It's gonna need a lot of conditioning. So the curly girl method seems like the best option for me just to restore the moisture in my hair. So I can't believe I'm down to four. Like, I can feel the difference in having these four in my hair, how it feels at the root compared to like how this all feels up here. The difference between this and that. I can really feel the pull on my hair at the root. I had that all over my head. There's no wonder it was aching my head quite often. Anyway, let's not make this any longer. Let's do this. glass of wine. Cheers to dreadlocks. Will I miss them? Maybe. Not now. I won't. But in the future. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I literally can't believe it. It feels so much lighter. But now, the moment of truth. I have to take out all these braids and I'm gonna brush my hair. And as much as I don't want to, I'm gonna have to straighten my hair. And I'm gonna do it before I wash, mainly because I'm gonna do an intense wash day tomorrow. There's gonna be so much dead hair at the bottom that I need to just cut that off and I really want to cut it off before I wash it. I don't want to wash it two days in a row. Basically, since I started taking my dreads out, which was on the 28th of December, it's now the 18th of January. So I haven't washed my hair since I started taking them out because I didn't want to take the braids out. I wanted it to be a surprise. And plus, having dreads anyway, I leave it sometimes up to a month before I wash it. So for me, it's not that much of a big deal. The hair's going to be so greasy. Let me just warn you, pre-worn is going to be like disgustingly greasy, but it's fine. And then I'm going to try and cut it. I've got some hair ties and some hairdressing scissors at the ready. Bearing in mind my hair was down to here, like down here before. And now it's really, really, really short. <laughs> oh my God. I look like Medusa. <laughs> oh God. Right, let's start taking these braids out because this looks so crazy right now. Like, I don't even know what this is, but it just... <laughs> Oh my 
god. Alright, this is not the finished product. <laughs> wow. happy with my hair like I cannot even express how happy I am because my hair is in what feels like the best condition it's ever been in and I know that sounds crazy because I've just taken my dreads out but this is proof that you can have dreads for two and a half years and have the healthiest hair afterwards once I took my dreads out I then put aloe vera all over my scalp massaged that in and then made my own oil treatment for my hair covered my hair in that as well massaged my scalp washed that out and then added a hair treatment in which I left on for about an hour and I've added a cream and a gel to my hair hair after getting out the shower and I do want to just say as well before I show you as you can probably see there's a little curl in there but when my dreads were growing out before I took them all out I noticed that a lot of my hair around my face was quite curly they were growing out like ringlets and I knew I had curlyish hair when I was younger that I never really used heat before I got dreads I was probably growing my hair for about four years prior to me having dreads so I looked after it really well didn't use silicones or anything like that and I had a feeling that my hair was quite curly so I wanted to embrace that so so this is the final result. This is my hair. Oh my god, it looks so different. And I haven't used any heat on my hair. This is all just getting out the shower and crunching it. I used the curly girl method on my hair just to kind of see how um, it would go. And it's actually gone curlier than I would have even thought. I knew I had a little bit of curl to my hair, but I didn't expect it to be like this. But it feels amazing. There's so much of it. I didn't expect to have this much hair after taking my dreads out. So now I've showed you what my hair looks like, I am gonna show you how much hair came out of my dreadlocks. Now, this is my extensions. So that already, I don't know how much that weighs, but that already is a little bit heavy. But this bag, okay, it's full up to here, but this is actually heavy. I cannot believe how much came out of my hair. So you lose about 100 hairs a day on your head, but obviously with dreadlocks, you don't lose them because they stay in there. This is 52 dreads worth of hair, and apologies about the dry skin, but... <laughs> All of those bits there, the fluff, dry skin, all the hair, all of this was in there, in there. And that was all my dreads to my shoulders, all of that. Can you even believe that? It's literally like a animal's nest. It's kind of gross. I don't even like touching it, to be honest. But I am so glad that that shit is out of my hair because I cannot believe I was carrying this around with me. Think about it, I was carrying all of that with me. So you know when they say dreads are a journey and when you let go of the dreads, it's kind of like releasing a lot of weight that's on your shoulders and it's not just a figure of speech, it's genuinely, all of that holds a lot of energy, you know, and all of that shit was in my, oh, I shouldn't swear. Yeah, gross. I'm gonna put it away now and finally say goodbye to the hair that no longer exists in my life. This is all the stuff I'm classing that as all the stuff that I held on to, all the shit that I went through, all the bad negative stuff. Bad Felicia. There's no idea for me to grow my hair really long like I did before. I just want to keep it really healthy and I quite like the short because I might even go a little bit shorter but I used to have really long hair down to like nearly my hips before I got dreadlocks and I had really long dreadlocks. I'm just wanting to change, I just want a bit of freedom and I really like this. I think I'm going to keep it up, so yeah. I am so happy. <sighs> so yes, anyways, that concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Listen to your intuition. I wanna say that because I was ignoring my intuition about this for a very long time and now my dreads are out. I actually feel so happy because it feels like a new 
chapter. I know that sounds really weird, but it does. But anyway, my loves, love and light to you all. I hope you enjoyed. And... Bye guys.